Yeah, Mike is fearless though, man. And I don't know if you can knock Mike out. You can. I don't know. Hey, Mike Van Page can. And you know who's the co-main event is uh Page Van Zant. Never bad when she gets sweaty. You feel me? Yeah. I used to like all of her pictures on Instagram, and then she got married. <laughs> 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 You ever met this guy? Oh, I'm the dumb one. You can't argue there's something about me. You have no idea what you're saying. Gang, gang. Buzz, buzz. Sure. I heard they say uh, they can tell if you're a pedophilia if you get the Fruit Loop one. <laughs> Ooh, really? Yeah. You know, I think it'd be interesting uh, if they... I wish they helped you more. I wish you could hit it and it would help you do a test or do something. I know. You know what it did to me? It gave me horrible anxiety. Yeah. Horrible anxiety. My therapist is like, well, have you switched anything up? I'm like, not really. I still do all my nicotine, pat, like my, the, the these, and I, I drink a bunch of coffee. She's like, nothing else? I'm like, oh, I started vaping. She's like, hey, dumbass, you're overdosing on fucking nicotine. Figure it out. Well, you're on a lot of different stimulants, you know? I know you put creatine, too, in that whiskey. Hell yeah, <laughs> daddy. Damn. A little creatine, a little protein powder. Gang, baby. Dude, we just had this guy on. Uh, <clears throat> I was talking to this guy all morning who does. On this past weekend? Yeah, on this past weekend. He's a, bring this man up. His name Max Moore. Max Moore? From Alcor. A-L-C-O-R. Max Moore from Alcor. Eats Albacore. <laughs> <laughs> By the seashore. There you go. Dude, this Damn, guy, his hair is dope. Bro, they, this is the company that freezes you. Like People always talk about being frozen, and they, yeah. it, was, it blew my mind. He needs man. to freeze his hairline. Bro, he, this dude is, he could be, I, you have no, I think he's 700 years old. He might be. He could be a vampire. Bro, if anybody, they, it was just unbelievable. Look how he is. Dude, this was him like a year ago. That's him frozen. <laughs> That's him frozen in England. That's time. He froze baby. himself as a kid. He's England. He's England, man. He's from England. So his whole thing is you can go to him and pay him when you die. He freezes your body. Like they Demolition Man? Bring that up, Nick. They show up and, fr I mean, they drop you in. They freeze you. They get you down. I mean, you are. Once you're dead, though. Well, once you are clinically or legally dead, there's a couple different deads. So you have to get through two of the deads, and there's one more dead. And before See, that one, that could be us. See, a if you freeze me, I want my face to be hilarious, and also, I'm I'm gonna have to chub this dick up if I'm naked. I don't want that thing to be out in the cold, the freezing cold. And you're in there with I other people too. I don't want to. Oh, that's the discount. Four for one, man. Yeah, <laughs> four. For, you and your buddies down. <laughs> They got some families doing it now and stuff, but yeah, I think. Would you get frozen, Chan? I feel like it's something you guys would do. <laughs> no, I'd rather just be. Not even cre when they get buried in the dirt and then you become something else like you know flowers and all that stuff. I'd rather do that. Oh, Jen, old school. Not 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 in a casket. Just but like what about that comeback though, baby? Yeah, baby. I don't believe in that. Do you, you guys believe that? Well, do you don't believe in science, Jen? Frozen? Yeah, because you're freezing because you're hoping technology in a you know. If I die, I don't want to come back. <laughs> Look at Hormel, dude. Look at Tyson, bro. <laughs> Look at Elon Musk. <laughs> Hormel, figure it out, bro. <laughs> well, look at those frozen meals, dude. You oh. fro <laughs> It's a, that's all it is, baby. It's just that's all you are is you're just a meal, dude. You're yeah, one of God's meals, baby. Yeah. And the, you're one of God's fucking hot pockets, Chin. These folks will reheat like you. They got yeah, and they got Ted Williams. Look at him right there. Bam. Oh, he looks terrible. They, well, hold on, they cut his head off. Did he go to the same company? He no. did head only. He did head only. <laughs> Why? That's terrible. That's terrifying. But they're 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 estab they're um, extrapolating or whatever it is, imagining that you could get. Technology will be where you'll be able to have t t new tissue and everything. And, but I thought they were doing it. So I, I think Ted Williams did in hopes that they can download your brain eventually. So you're living through like the computer, right? Well, everything else, if it's tissue, they would be able to like recreate. So they can already do organs, um, some organs. The liver already remakes itself. So they can do some organs um, and they can keep pigs uh, pigs they can bring back to life So pigs can be dead for a few hours And they can bring them back to life See so think in 50 years You're renewing pigs Think what, think in 50 years Chen Where the, the technology is going to be I feel like Theo they're going to freeze And you're awake first thing you say Did the Chinese take over Like god ah, damn What <laughs> if you're like 80 and you die You want to come back 80 no, uh, no 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 yeah, That's the thing freeze, uh, freeze me in my prime right That means you got to die early then. <laughs> Or just freeze I don't have to die Just freeze me daddy <laughs> Like freeze me in shape 
But you like the, I'm gonna do a diet, get in really good shape, and then freeze me. But Brittany, you're gonna leave your family and everything. I know. You got to think about other people. And mm -hmm. then also, I was hanging out with some Koreans this week, <laughs> and um, John Park. Do you know that guy? Yeah. Korean guy, <laughs> and uh, Bobby Lee. You guys know him. There's John Park right there. John Park's a singer. Yeah, yeah. He's a singer, and he's. Oh, a, he's from BTS. Is he? No, no. He, he's from a, he, a, a competition show, and he won. So How do I know him? From BT, BTS. How do I know John I Park? For, BLM. But John Park is like a very, very like Korean name, a Korean American name. Oh, John Park. I think he was a pitcher for the Dodgers yeah. but in the nineties. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Clear common trading cards. Him and Bobby Lee. They were hanging out? Yeah. And they said they don't like the Chinese. That's what they said. <laughs> that makes sense. I mean, that's nothing surprising. Is that a thing, Chin? Oh, The yeah. Japanese, but not so much the Chinese, but the Japanese. Who do you hate, sure. Chin? I don't hate anyone. Come on. <laughs> hey. No. But my on. parents, my parents are very strong about me not ever dating a Japanese girl. Wow. Hell yeah. That's how strong it is for Hell them. yeah. Tradition. Yeah. Hell they did yeah. a lot of bad stuff to Koreans. No Japanese. If a Japanese guy get punched a bunch of times, they look Chinese a little. <laughs> yeah, especially in the eyes. I don't know about that. You just got to shift. You shut nope. them down a little. Yeah. Their faces but yeah, get anyway, so just been spending a lot of time, I guess, learning about, yeah, a lot of Korean stuff, dude. Chingu. 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 You know what you, that means? Oh, my friend. Yep. Oh, Chingu. Chingu. There's a movie called Chingu, too. Chingu. It's great. But really? also, yeah. uh, are you eating? Are you eating like Korean barbecue and shit? That's nah. the best food. Nothing internal. I've just been talking with these guys. <laughs> just hanging out with Koreans. Yeah. It's interesting, man. It's just interesting to see them operate, see them be around each other. Kind of take are, any clues you did, can. Did anybody bring up uh, that BTS broke up? Are they sad about it? Did anybody mention that? That'd be my first question for all of them. I don't think so. I don't even know about, about BTS. Oh my god, are you living under? Have you been frozen for the last five years? <laughs> They're the biggest, yeah. the biggest band in the world, Daddy. Really? Yeah, by far, dude. Uh oh, rumors. Now, are they seven transgender women? Maybe. I don't know, but I love their music. All right. But they don't care. And a lot of Asian cultures don't even care about their crotches as much as we do in America. <laughs> no, <laughs> they treat it like a, like a Barbie doll. You know, there's just nothing there. Like oh Ken doesn't have gosh. a big dick. Yeah, Ken never did have it. Yeah, that one with the pink hair is struggling with his pronouns, and he is in the third round. He's down 10 8. He's got nice lips, though. Yes, mm -hmm. they've all had major surgery. Have they really? You think, Chin? Oh, I know for a fact. I mean, we know that the Koreans probably have the most oh, plastic really? surgery. Yeah, there's like a there's, there must be a, a dude. Are you not hanging out with Koreans? I only I hang out with one did. Korean, and I know yeah. this. I just did. Oh, they're super into that. I didn't shit. know this. Yeah, wouldn't you say Korea is like the trendsetters for wow. like yeah. and the they Asian the, culture? Brennan, the best information. Cap, uh, uh, they are considered the plastic surgery capital of the world. Theo, ask your Korean friends, dude. You know what? Educate yourself before you hang out with them. And now I know. <laughs> the effect of the Hallyu wave. That's As the whole Korean pop. Korean, South uh, Koreans are dramas. fanatical with the Hallyu wave. Yeah, Hallyu. Some will even. Uh, what is that? Can you go back, Nick? I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Some will even have the surgery to make their eyes round instead of almond. Today's youth aim to be just like their K-pop idols. Um, so they undergo various procedures from head to toe. Wow, even their feet. Ooh, you can start recognizing. You can start recognizing the faces when they have surgery. It's almost they're almost all similar. The nose and the eyes. Yeah, it's like yeah. And they don't, they do jaw shaving too. Yeah. Oh, to make it thinner. To make and who does thinner. it? It's children doing it even. <laughs> I mean, yeah. But I mean, as the, long as the, the problem in Korea is their suicide rate through the fucking roof. Because yeah. they're they're haters, like they're trolls, different level, daddy. You think my Reddit's bad? <laughs> Try being a BTS Korean, bro. Really? The hate they get yeah. is insane. Damn. Insane. Korea, there's so like, many avenues. Yeah, there's to hate. so many. Have, yeah. You should go fight over there. In Korea? Yeah. Fight what? Fight Koreans. And do, <laughs> in like a, in a league or there's yeah, no like, there's no Korean heavyweights. Wow. Well, see, just seeing if I joy. get the hate. I just tweeted BTS sucks. We'll see if anything happens. <laughs> oh, yeah, <let's> <laughs> you don't you, know, you should put a hashtag BTS. Uh, right. Yeah, come on, bro. No, people will know BTS would still show up on that hashtag one. Yeah, I, I think so. You even think tweet? So. <laughs> Dude, I'm excited about that Sanhagen Rodriguez, uh, Sanhagen um, Cruz fight. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, well, hold on. Uh, <laughs> Is that happening, Nick? No, no. Uh, it's Cruz. Uh, Should, you want me to take Cheeto, it from here, Nick? Yeah. Oh, Cruz Vera. Yeah. Wow, Vera S Cruz. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> it's a new uh, Chevy car coming out. But uh, first of all, uh, Sandy Hagen's fighting a Chinese kid who is a m, -m monster Young He's Dong ten or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Young Dong is a fucking savage. I don't know why San Hagen agreed to take this fight. Because he's, he's a, ranked four. This kid's ten, and he's a fucking nightmare. Yeah, but San Hagen's a damn fucking fist criminal. He'll do it. Song Young Dong. 
Oh. Some Young Dong. Spinning Fist. He's 19 and 6. KO. That's my call. From who? Corey. From Sanhagen. Yeah. The song goes really straightforward. He, he's I'm, like I'm going to take Sanhagen uh, via uh, submission. I like Ooh. that. Mm-hmm. That's coming up soon, man. But you got, you got, uh, you got, you got Cheeto and Donald Cruz now. Because Corey, I mean, he should have won that. I mean, I he hypothetically won that fight. I mean, that could have gone either Against way. Against TJ? I thought he won too. No, no, no. With no, absolutely not. No. And then you got. He kept <sighs> giving his back. Can't do that. You're going to lose the fight. Cruz Vera. Wow. There's some good fights coming up. And then on the 20th, you got. Um, this guy's a future champ, David Onama. He's a James Krause guy. He's amazing. Damn. Yeah, he's a beast at featherweight. Yeah. Um, you got uh, our boy Jack Shore lost a week. I know first time. he fought a savage too. Yeah, yeah. it was a good fight. Yeah, I mean, it, it was. A, it, I don't think it was that long of a fight, but but also with uh, he got choked out right, and with uh, mm-hmm. he fought Simon right. Mm-hmm. Simon d- used to have the mullet. That's why I fucked with him. Shaved it. Ricky Simone, huh? I didn't recognize him. What are you doing, dude? You know, he part of the crew or not? Daddy. He's won five in a row, hasn't he? Yeah, he's yeah, he's really coming up. He's that little drummer boy, dog. He's fucking beaten, son. Mm-hmm. I don't think people think that as a setback for Jack Shore. Cause like, no, it's too much for him too soon. They're Ricky just trying Simone's to see where on. he's at. Yeah, both to look, both of those guys are great. Shore will be fine. Shore's our boy. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm excited. Simone's fun to watch too, man. A lot of great guys doing uh, fights. UFC 278 is here, and it is action-packed. That's right. You have the Kamaru Usman versus Edwards rematch in the main event. Throw down and grab your own epic victory with DraftKings Sportsbook, the official sports betting partner of the UFC. This Saturday, new customers can bet just $5 and get $200 in free bets instantly, win or lose. If that's not enough action for you, you can also get a $10 risk-free same-game parlay. Just combine multiple bets like which fighter will come out on top, how long will the fight last, and so much more. Listen, man, I told you. Now that I'm saying I'm picking all these guys, it'll be a fun parlay to bet on all the underdogs. You got Leon Edwards as a dog. You got Luke Rockhold, dog. Jose Aldo, dog. The three of them, parlay, we go win Sizzler, daddy. The three dogs ain't a bad bet. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. Use the promo code KATS. Bet $5 on UFC 278 and get $200 in free bets instantly. That's code KATS. This Saturday at DraftKings Sportsbook, the official sports brand partner of the UFC. Minimum age eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. See next page for direction for disclaimer. I'm excited to see these sweater puppies. What's going on here, Daddy? Damn, look at them. Damn. Fucking set of lips, them hawks, Daddy. Baby. God, damn. damn. I like them bitches to fly right in my face, Doug. Hey, what's up, Pam and Sting? What's up, Brendan, Theo, Said Chris, me first. Um, Eric, Nick, and Chin. Um, I have a King of Sting it for you. Um, one-on-one vacationing with your parents. Nope. So I recently took my mom out to Maui, and I was super nervous about it at first because just the thought of going on a vacation with your mother sounds pretty weird so i was scared um but it turned out being the best time ever so can't understand it taking your parents on vacation it could be hard man my mom helped me move a tv in the house and we almost fucking killed each other (laughs) yeah i took my mom to 7-eleven i just left her there i mean it was a 10 minute drive i was like fuck this noise it's a lot man there's triggering things you know yeah it's tough it depends your relationship with your parents like my girl and her mom are best friends, so they'd be fine. Oh yeah, shit! I'd take your girl for your wife's mama on a trip. She's awesome. Hell yeah, but she's great. Yeah, me and my dad. I know that we're older. It'd be tough. I should do it though. You know what I'm saying? They're yeah, I, older. I think I've offered to take my mom somewhere. She doesn't like to go anywhere except Arizona. But I think that this girl seems good, huh? <laughs> yeah, she's cool. With them fucking them upper front stomachs, homie. Damn. Her 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 mom Asian, huh? Her mom, a little BTS looking. Yeah, she got is that her mom? Damn, yeah. Boy. hell yeah, that's her mom. She does look a little Asian. Yeah. The only problem is you go you go to Hawaii she, and you, she seems single with them sweater puppies in Hawaii, and you you want to hook up with a local Moana. You feel me? You get where you tell your mom. You're probably sharing room, right? I don't know. This girl needs a Z pack, baby. She got them swollen glands, dog. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I'm talking about tits, boy. <laughs> no, yeah, we know what you're, you're talking God, about, man. Huh? Yeah. I'll dress up like your mom. Yeah, I'll, <laughs> dude, I'll eat a spam sandwich for her, dog. <laughs> All night, Eddie. <laughs> A little damn, snorkel boy. spam sandwich, some tits. She got them launchers, baby. God damn. Them baby buffets, boy. She got them damn. Dude, that's about to be my make a wish. 
Right here. Good God, A little spam and tit. She earned that scoliosis, son, I bet. <laughs> God damn, boy. Yeah, I do feel bad for her back. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Oh. oh, it's Cheeto Vera. It's Cheeto oh, Vera. Total opposite. There's Cheeto Vera. <laughs> total opposite. Ain't that, that about a bitch? Of that dime you just put up there, Nick. We'll, this guy, leave, her, this we'll guy's, leave her up there. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm back in a better mood. This guy's eye, the eyes are glassy as shit. He's either yeah. high or he's been crying. I think he was at the gym. What's up, cats? It's your boy, Matt, back again from New York City with another King It or Sting It. I will not waste my time with shout-outs because you're very clearly running a halfway house over there. That being said, <laughs> King It or Sting It, the Will Smith apology video. Have you seen it? Could you get through it? Did it make you want to throw your phone through a window? Will Smith essentially starts it by saying, Chris Rock hasn't given me the opportunity to apologize yet, so I'll do it here in front of the fucking world. First of all, consent! Second of all, what the fuck? What did you think? Is he grasping at straws? Is it tone deaf? Is Will Smith losing his goddamn mind? I like this guy. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz, sore. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I tried, Eric. Okay, I don't even know the fucking pitch. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Will Smith's thing is, it, first of all, dude, it's four months after the fact, right? So way too late. Also, clearly your therapist, your PR team wrote this. So there's, it's not like sincere. You can tell like he's reading from a fucking teleprompter. He's got multiple cameras. I feel yeah, like there's the multiple weird... angles. They have to edit it and shit. <laughs> yeah. I like Will Smith. So he slapped the guy, you know? <laughs> now, did I keep that same energy last night with Tony Rock? Absolutely not. <laughs> I was like, dude, you believe Will Smith? <laughs> I think, yeah, this, it felt like if you say to somebody you have an acceptive, like whenever you're ready for my apology, it's, it's like. It's almost like trying to put them down in a way. Um, yeah, you put it on them. Like, I've reached out. I've tried to be cool, and he's not accepting it. It's like, yeah, dude, you slapped him at the Oscars. He's never going to get over it. Yeah, and I think and Chris is doing a great job not saying anything because then he gets to you finally use it to his own advantage. He's using like, it on stage. Yeah, he took That's it like a champ. He's selling great tickets. People want to see what he's got to say about it. Um, I'm sure it's amazing. I haven't seen him perform. I've seen his brother Tony perform last night about it. Savage. And Tony was doing, yeah, Tony was doing great. Uh, Tony is a The curtain savage. moved a little bit behind him, and he's like, who the fuck's coming up here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like, I hope they bring it out here. Yeah, Tony's great. So that yeah, such dude. an underrated comic. Oh, He's amazing. Believe you and him last night. Crushed. He was unbelievable. Both of you guys, man. He did that Britney Griner stuff. He's so good. It must suck being tall in like a short, per like just a regular prison <laughs> cell. Like oh, <laughs> he kept impersonating her, hanging out of the cell. It's so funny, man. Yeah, he's, he's so funny. Yeah, but I think yeah. I mean, Will just obviously just spoiled and just lives in a different universe. Dude, he's been famous since he was seventeen. I know he was a child uh, prince or whatever. Yeah, dude, Kim to <laughs> Bel Air. You know what I'm saying? Like he's been he's so fucking rich. Mm -hmm. And then his wife is fucking famous. Yeah. She has a talk show once a week out of their fucking kitchen. His Red kids table. are millionaires. They live with them. They asked me to be on that one time. On Red Table? And he said no. Yeah. Why? Because I think they were trying to do it like... A gotcha moment? Yeah, or just like something's wrong with whites or something. I just didn't want to be... <laughs> oh, I do... That would have been Bro, awesome. I will pay you to go on there and defend us. Yes. That would be fantastic. I'll see if I... It was you like, start lighting her up about her hair and shit? It was like a year and a half ago. I don't know if it would be a safe environment for everyone. <laughs> I'll come with you. Huh? You could just I'll, be on their side and be like, I'm Nicaraguan. I hate white people too. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> no, no, I'll come with you, dude. I'll be like, let's talk about wiggers though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the real issue in this country, dude. These W's. And they just keep going, feel, will you please answer the question? <laughs> I don't know, man. Here's Will Smith's fifth apology video. <laughs> <laughs> He's obviously. That's also, uh, what's the, Fro, Fro Man from Incredibles. <laughs> He's obviously going through. What's it. going on, fellas? This your boy Jay Sean checking in from Cashville, Tennessee. He's tired. Yeah. Great teeth. The king of the stinging for you guys. Morning sex. Are we still doing the deed even though we just woke up? Uh, my gal just left from giving me that good old morning topper. <laughs> Oh. She really blessed your boy. <laughs> um, so quite lovely right now. So yeah, he seems relaxed. Morning sex, king of the stinger. Big fan of the show, fellas. Keep it up, gang, gang, buzz, buzz, sore. Griffin with Griffin. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out my nigga Eric. <laughs> dude he looks like a character from the pjs <laughs> he looks so animated his teeth are fantastic
that's the future right there, man. Beige power, baby. Um, yeah. I'm jealous of it. And what is this man asking? He's asking more than sex. sex. Here's the thing about more than sex, dude. You when tell I wake us about up, it. you're married. Yeah, I'm married. Here, but I got. What is it like once you're married? <laughs> Does he not look like a PJ? <laughs> If you flip his head up. Good call, down. Brendan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. And he also is like the fro man from Incredibles. But um, yeah, he does. Dude, I watched Afro Man perform one time at a college party. Really? Because I got uh, that guy. Yeah. And he like, he was, I think he was just high or something and he just puked in his hat. Oh, shit. Because he got high. Yeah. <laughs> that guy's great. And just threw it off the back of the stage. <laughs> Everyone's all, this is sad. <laughs> That's merch, baby. <laughs> That's merch. That's, merch, That's custom baby. merch, one of a kind. Uh, morning sex of being married. You, you, I can't anymore. When I was younger, it was my favorite, dude. My favorite. The problem is you got that dick breath. I wake up, my breath smells like fucking hot Who cares what shit. your breath? It's your breath, you idiot. You I know, to... but my girl has to, I'm trying to kiss her, and I got fucking dick breath. Are y'all doing morning sex? <laughs> breath. No, I, dude, I can't remember last time. We got kids, so my son would jump in bed at 5.30 a.m. Daddy ain't waking up at 5.30 a.m. to fuck anything. 5.28. Dude, dude nuh-uh, uh, <laughs> nuh-uh, uh-uh. Hey, dude, Carmen Electra could wake me up in her prime at 5.30 in the morning, and my dick goes, you out your mind. It ain't happening, Daddy. Then you got kids, you're tired, dude, 5.30? I know. And then you don't want, then you don't want to have, start sex if kids come in. Oh, he's scarred for life. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah. saying? Because Daddy puts it down, right? <laughs> Daddy puts it down. I can't I, have the kids see that. I don't know what daddy does. Yeah, yeah. I got, I got oils. I got fucking lubricants. I got a ball gag. Oils, dude. Test 200 doesn't count, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, yeah, I lube my girl up with a wind straw. <laughs> She's like, what up? Why do I look like The Rock's ex-wife? I'm like, shut up, bitch. <laughs> um, I think the big issue for me is I haven't had morning sex in a long time, so... I don't even know anything about it anymore. And yeah, I forget what it's like. I think it's hard to wake up with enough energy to take on the day. So to then use a lot of it right in the beginning. You're not drinking the right coffee though, daddy. Seems like a defeatist deal. No, bro. You get some death. You drink like black coffee in the morning. Uh, uh. Dude, I got this coffee death wish. It comes from Brooklyn. It is the strongest coffee in the world, bro. I tell my girl, careful drink that. You get a fucking mustache, bitch. That's Damn. how strong it is. She looking Damn. real Mexican. Should, should go from Joanna to Jose real quick. Really? It'll put some fucking hairs on your upper lip. Do right? Mexican people have a lot of hair on their lip? No, just the males, you <laughs> yeah. know? And then some females if the sun hits the right angle. The males keep that little baby cape going, No boy. matter what. Mm -hmm. right, my kids are half Mexican, man. You forget. They both got mustaches. Damn, that's yeah. beautiful. <laughs> They're doing the fucking roof right now. Uh, we got a Cats in the Wild. Um, Eric's been doing some odd stuff in his free time. I'm sure. <laughs> 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 and that's me doing the push-up holy shit this is an iraq or some shit huh? and what is this blue cross blue shield i think i have this program this <laughs> insurance well that guy's push-up's terrible Damn. Where the fuck that has to be iraq iran or something right nick yeah huh? well, I, them boys I, live by a different <laughs> set of rules and then we had another one uh Brendan's been in the gym and he switched up his look. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I looked like that. Oh no, dude, that's Chris Angel. Oh, I wish I looked like that. Ah, yeah. ah. that's Chris Anger, dude. That guy. Yeah, that dude needs BetterHelp.com promo code wow. cats. Whoa, he has um metal in his tits. Dude, second best tits we've seen today. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Natty or not? Natty or not? Let's go to Mark Harley for that. What do you think, Natty or not, Mark Harley? Zero chance. Zero chance. That's great. He looks, he looks amazing. Yeah, Mark he's done Harley. a lot of hard work still, but that boy is... Not Natty. Uh-uh. You saw the... Pony boy one. He's, he's protein pony two. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. That's, his, that's his handle. <laughs> protein pony two? Uh, no, it's pony, pony boy. boy. Oh, this guy's fantastic. <laughs> Now, yeah. did he choose that Limp Bizkit song? Is that yes, his? That's oh, his wow. Thing. That's a real fuck you. What's that thing by his ribs? You see oh, that? Oh, shit. Oh, those are called muscles, bro. Oh, damn. Yeah, we don't have them. Uh, the and then working out hard. Speaking of uh, Limp Bizkit, this guy's got a debate club for us. Hey, guys. Pardon my uh, thick accent. I am from Serbia, not Russia. 
So I have a music debate Why? club. Uh, I was born in 1990, so I was a kid uh, from new metal era of rock music. And I was a big fan of those bands. So today's debate club would be uh, Limp Biscuit or Gorn. Oh, Gang, bro. gang, buzz, buzz, soar. This guy is great. Oh. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Beautiful guy, that guy. A boy dodging bullets in Ukraine, it seems, right? Yeah. Um, this guy drives every Uber black. I would like to say that. <laughs> uh, thank you. I'll tip you on the app. And secondly... Um, Limp biscuit or corn, daddy? Man, I Says like, a lot about him, man. I, is Fred Durst Limp biscuit? Yes. Yes. I like uh, Fred Durst. You, you like him as the the person now. Yeah. He's sober, vegan. I like Brian Welch also from Corn. So, and he's a Corn again Christian now. I think. <laughs> and um, so holy both shit, fascinating dudes. He looks like Jared Letgo. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, I, I got to interview Brian one time. Dude, he tells this crazy story. He used to get heroin FedExed to him on tour, man. It's like, he's had a crazy life, man. Fascinating guy. He was a tattoo on his eye before it was cool. And Fred is an interesting dude. But with the bands, I don't know. I don't know enough about it. You probably know more about the music. Oh, the corn? I mean, corn all day. Corn, you can play corn today, right now. Corn is lit as fuck, man. I'd go to a corn concert right now. I worked secur security for a corn concert, and it was insane. Yeah. Dude. I got beat up. I was scared. Yeah. That's how lit it was, dude. You beat yourself And I didn't up. mind it either. Yeah. Yeah, I did beat myself up. I was in the mosh pit, just headbanging. Dude, mosh pits are kind of making a comeback, I feel like. And they are fire, bro. Mosh pits, there's nothing better than getting out there. And I've never what's understood. Up. Why, why, why mosh pit? Because it's just like an express. It almost goes back to, I think, like Native American times when people would like dance in like a circle around. Like, yeah, and that worked out for them. Here's what mosh pits are. Mosh pits, <laughs> white guys were at a concert. Went, we, well, we can't dance. So let's just run into each other. Yeah. And the rest of the whites went, great idea. It has a Neanderthalic kind of thing. You're out there. You're kind of moving. You're not trying to hit people, but you're trying to hit people. If you fall down, they help you up. Like, there's there's rules to it, right? Like, if you get knocked down, they lift you back up for you get trampled to death. Yeah, and it's like they have kids that go out there sometimes, and people, like, act all protective of them and shit. The whole <laughs> thing's kind of bizarre. I think it's it's big in Asian cultures, isn't it, Shin? <laughs> Mosh pits? No. Yeah. No. no, it's a very white thing. Like, Super you're white. not going to go to a Snoop Dogg concert to see a mosh pit. It's white guys who have no rhythm running into each other getting CTE. Yeah. I'm calling Chappelle right now. Yeah. I think Chappelle I used to security. do them. I used to like doing them. Um, what, would you get that big ass involved? You'd booty bump everybody? I'd get in there. My, big, my buddy Matt. Shinever was like the biggest guy in our area, and he would always go. So I'd, I'd always just kind of mill around under his arms and shit, just like, you know, and I'd sneak in every now and then and just snipe somebody bro, in the net. Bro, I worked security for it uh, for the corn concert. I forget what other concert. It might have been uh, Guar, that band that dresses yeah. up and shit. Oh, yeah. And there's the Guar. G War. Yeah, G War. I love, remember when that on Oprah? Anyways, so um, I was working security, and then I just see bodies in the mosh pit. I'm like, who the fuck's over at fucking Thor? And I look, and because uh, I was playing college football at the time, my football buddies, like starting linebacker and fullback for the University of Colorado, decided to go in the mosh pit. Yeah. And they were just <laughs> fucking people up. Gang shit. And they don't know the rules. Gang shit. So they're just blindsiding these bitches. I love that, man. Oh, it was fantastic. I, uh, they got kicked out. I'm going to be there. I'm going to Denver, man. I got some shows in Denver. Where, where at? Coming up in October at the Paramount Theater. So it's a great venue, man. They're on sale now at theovon.com slash tour. My mom's, I can already, as soon as yeah, she's, she's asked me dude? for tickets right now. Yeah, she broke her ankle, man. Damn, really? What, yeah. what, how? She was doing some pottery business and then just missed the step and literally fractured her ankle. Dude, that's the scary thing about becoming more of an adult is that there's so many, everything is a risk. Sometimes even now, I'll get like in, the, in the shower, you slip a little, you're mm -hmm. like, dude, in 20 years? Game, set, match. You slip wow. in that fucking shower, butt naked and juicy like that? It's so slippery. That's why oh. those mats make sense, dude. Those you gotta get that grab height in there. You imagine going out like that? Mm. Just slipping, hitting your fucking head on the bathtub, naked? And the water's just hitting you? Dude, another reason, freeze yourself right now. <laughs> Full circle, daddy. 
Yeah, I think if I got in there frozen. But the thing you have to think about with getting frozen, with what people don't think about it, is like, would you're gonna come back? It's like you're gonna be back in the society. Like, what would that be like? Like everybody you know is gonna be gone. It's gonna be like getting released from prison or whatever. But you're gonna meet your great 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 grandkids. It's gonna be dope. And they're gonna be busy, dude. Yeah, <laughs> and you're just gonna be like hanging out with them. And they're like, I get out of here, man. Yeah. You keep making shitty jokes. Yeah, Bad, like, 90 references. Your brain just shuts down every now and then for, like, 90 <laughs> minutes at a time. Just, yeah. It'd yeah. be lit. <laughs> it'd be interesting. I think it'd be nice to probably, you could probably just go for a walk. Nobody would give a fuck. You could go missing. You wouldn't have anybody to call. But it's also, um, <laughs> there's a movie called Blast from the Past, right? That's the same plot, dude. Shout out to Brendan Fraser. He was the most famous Brendan for about three years. He did that a lot in Sino Man. He was also frozen. Great point. He Great did a movie. Lot of, he did a lot of stuff, man. He's heavy now, huh? Put on some weight. Did he? Yeah. He's still the most famous Brendan. My only goal is to be more famous than him. It's tough, dude. He's making a comeback. He was so good in uh, School Ties. It was Brendan uh, Shanahan, the captain. Oh. There he is, put on some weight. Oh, that's a fat suit. Yeah, that's real. me in four years, so that's cool. I think that's real, though. And the fat get angry. No, that's angry. him real on the left. Yeah, yeah. That's also my agent at CA, so that's cool. <laughs> but the fat get angry when they do that. When you put on weight? No, the when they suits. put fat suits on regular folks. I know, they're like, oh, yo, you couldn't find a fat person to play? It's like, no, bitch. Yeah, that's why we hired him to put a fat suit on. It's fat he has based. the skills, you dumbass. Yeah. 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 We just put the fat on him. Yeah. <laughs> Figure it out. <laughs> yeah, it's talent plus fat. It's not just fat. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, figure it out, y'all. What are you upset about? That's crazy, man. Remember that movie Precious? Huh? Remember the, the movie Precious and Blindside came out like back to back months? I haven't watched that. I thought it was the same person. Hashtag no racism. Oh I thought it was the same. I'm like, this this person's crushing it. I I love that show, um, Last Chance You. Oh, yeah. It started off fire. Oh, shit. It got it, the last two seasons have been good. Not it's as been good, but when that coach, did, did you have the coach on the show? Yeah. yeah. Slap dick. <laughs> yeah, he was good, dude. Remember, he got fired because there was a German kid on the team, and he was like, I'm your Hitler. Yeah. <laughs> like, we're going to have to fire you. <laughs> <laughs> so crazy they fired him, man. That dude was a fucking king. He still has great uh, TikToks and IG. Does Is he still coaching? No, I think he's just smoking cigars and yelling shit. Uh, you mentioned uh, Precious. Uh, mm -hmm. Kathy Hilton, uh, Paris Hilton's mom, was on the show with Andy Cohen. Mm -hmm. And I guess she was on Real Housewives, and she confused two black women. And then, so they played a game, like, does Kathy know who this black person is? And this clip was uh, Oh, they're setting her up. Before you play this clip, so I was on that show, the Andy Cohen show, uh, this exact show, and they take live callers, and they don't screen the calls. And they're like, oh, we have a question about stand-up. I'm like, fantastic, hit it. And this guy goes, he, he, he seems sincere. He's like, hey, Brent, uh, big fan here. Uh, you know, I love that you're at the comedy store all the time. And I'm like, oh, thanks, dude. You've been to some shows. He goes, I have, I have. And uh, I love seeing you perform, man. Uh, real quick, uh, w w what's it like to suck Joe Rogan's cock in, <laughs> in the green room? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, was I, it a gay guy? I don't know. I can't believe they let Theo through. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, dude, I was all, I literally was all, and I was, and I was dressed like a blackjack dealer. But tell us what I had it's a like. vest on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did tell them what it's like. It's their biggest episode ever. Yeah. Uh, this was so me. what is this? They mixed up a black lady. Yes. I feel like I do, Precious. No. That's not me. <laughs> Dude, they're just setting her up to get yeah. canceled. <laughs> and she doesn't care. But if you but if you're an older white lady, like you don't have to know Lizzo. Yeah. Like you have no fucking clue. <laughs> no, dude. Yeah, if you're an older white lady, you're it's it's precious as far as you're gonna get. Before that, it's gonna be that lady from what's happening now. Like, <laughs> can you bring her what's up. My something. favorite is when Lizzo decided to get healthy and like drink juices and like try and lose weight and the the shaming she got. She's like, All right, and then the next day posted a picture with KFC. Oh, it's her the second one. Uh, oh <laughs> I remember this girl. Yeah, she was good. Shirley Hempful. Shirley Hempful, yeah. That's all. The older white people only oh. know her and Precious. That's it. <laughs> and Shirley Emma will find as fuck, too, dog. <laughs> yeah. Real talk. Or that could even be what's his name from Derek SNL. Poston? Is it Derek Poston? Uh, Keenan Thompson? Could be Keenan Thompson. <laughs> all right. I saw Derek a couple weeks ago. He was great, man. He's so funny. Yeah, I saw him and I saw his girlfriend perform, actually, too. In Texas? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. 
UFC 278 is here and it is action packed. Throw down and grab your own epic victory with DraftKings Sportsbook, the official sports betting partner of the UFC. This Saturday, new customers can bet just $5 and get $200 in free bets instantly, win or lose. If that's not enough action for you, you can also get a $10 risk free same game parlay. Just combine multiple bets like which fighter will come out on top, how long will the fight last, and so much more. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. Use the promo code KATS. Bet $5 on UFC 278 and get $200 in free bets instantly. That's code KATS. This Saturday at DraftKings Sportsbook, the official sports brand partner of the UFC. Minimum age eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. See next page for directions for disclaimer. It's Tom Hanks. Hello, Chris, Theo, Eric, and Brendan. I've got a king it and sting it for you. I'm in the UK at the moment and it's fucking hideously hot. And am I whiter than Chris? 100%. Fucking hell, Casper. Fucking hell. Anyway, man. king it or sting it. Damn. Cauliflower pizza crust. What do, what do you guys think? We wouldn't do it in the UK. Nothing. I mean, it's just basically like yeah. having a pizza and then shobs. Bad ear just falls off on the edge of the crust. <laughs> 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 Damn, this dude. If you're going to go pizza, go pizza, bro. Don't try and be all healthy and go fucking cauliflower pizza. That's bitch shit, bro. Nothing gayer than when your buddy orders cauliflower pizza. Just had it yesterday. You did? <laughs> yeah. Why? I'm I'm in a competition with uh, Chin to lose weight oh, for no yeah, reason. Yeah. He's gonna have to pay me six hundred dollars. Yeah. I've lost fifteen pounds in ten days. I gained. Damn, you do look. You do look like there's something wrong, wrong with, with you. Almost. Yeah, yeah, I know. I've got. Yeah, looked, I thought you were. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were sick. I'm trying to hit one fifty five. Adrian Yunez gave me some some tips. If if you weren't such a good producer, I figured you had monkey <laughs> <laughs> And I your, was like, he can stay. Has your energy gone up though? Uh, yeah, I feel because I, I, I've actually been eating pretty healthy meals. Uh, I'm about to get kind of closer to anorexia, but uh, Hell then, yeah. but then I'm going to give Chin an opportunity to win his money back. Yeah. Check out Cats After Dark. <laughs> Cats After Dark, guys. That's where they're doing this kind of shit, dude. <laughs> this experimental Hell stuff, yeah. dude. Yeah. Uh, this guy should get a chlorophyll pizza, I think. <laughs> and uh, this guy, I don't know about this pizza. Guy's... This guy just need fuck your pizza. This guy needs some sun. That's what he needs. Yeah, dude. This guy needs somebody to beat him in the fucking neck with some damn sunlight. Um, <laughs> it's just, I yeah, I'm more. I am alarmed. Yeah, at the level of white. That can happen to people. Oh, dude! In England, the, the the white out there is different. Like my aunt Nubby's legs, she lift her leg, bro. It'll blind you, dog. Mm. It's like a it's a iPhone fucking flashlight. Her legs are insane, dude. I used to go to my buddy Bo's house for like family dinners or gatherings or something. Yeah. And his aunt, dude, would she used to sit and she had these two dogs would sit on each one of her legs like gargoyles and yeah. sit on her kneecaps. These little bitty dogs. She yeah. was really, really uh, just kind of fat. Yeah. <laughs> And I like how you didn't sugarcoat then, that. or she was just you know something had happened to her. Yeah, yeah. But by something happened, you mean food happened? Well, she, had, she, I think she had a glandular issue. Yeah, that's what all these fat people say. Oh, it's a thyroid problem. No, it ain't. No, this lady was glanded out. She had like seven hundred glands in each one of her legs. <laughs> oh, damn. And she, um, she kept bringing me over, and she'd always hug me and tell me she cherished me. Oh, she's trying to. <laughs> and fuck. I didn't know her. Yeah. And so I think she thought I was somebody else. No, 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 no. no, no. It's very clear. She's trying to fuck, bro. Yeah, very clear. Uh, if you're fuck, you can't fuck kids, man. You shouldn't. <laughs> you shouldn't. It's frowned upon. <clears throat> well, she wanted to split a fucking pizza with you and fuck. She wanted to split a pizza this young wiener. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, fellas? Love it's your the boy shirt. Just taking a little break out of this Florida heat. He's called in before. A little rain. A lot. Uh, got a debate club for you guys. Chaperoning them field trips with the kiddos. Uh, Brennan, I know Tiger's getting to that age, man. He's taking field trips. Uh, you probably get some chaperone opportunities. Um, you know, it's kind of cool just to take the day and say, screw work, and I'm going to go to the space center or the zoo or the museum with my kids, you know? This is a Logan Paul guy, right? Yeah. Yeah, I love him, man. What's his name so I don't... Uh, Theodore Moreland. What do you mean uh, Logan Paul guy? Teddy Moreland. I, I forget it a lot, but I, I know... Logan Paul guy? He's... He's... he's 
I've seen. He I saw him, him recently in Florida. Yeah, uh, the first time he sent in, he really looked like uh, Jake Paul. And, uh, oh, word, the- word. Theo called him fake Paul. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, chaperoning the kids' field trip. I did it with my son to Universal Studios. Really? Why? It. it was a fucking nightmare. Well, Brendan, it was a nightmare. You don't realize how well behaved your son is until you hang out with these other little fucking demons, man. These kids were awful. Cost me about seven hundred bucks and bullshit <laughs> minion stuff toys. They're eating seven funnel cakes. Someone has to shit or pee all the time. You don't get to go on any rides because they're not tall. Well, how enough. many kids were out there? How many digestive tracts did you get out there? Twelve. Oh, Twelve. That's impossible. And they like? Did you just do that because you're nice, or is that like part of the expectation? I just did because I was nice. Yeah, yeah, That'd be fun. Yeah. Won't do it again. I mean, really? buy him, buy him the food. Oh, yeah. I was just like, yeah, whatever you guys want. Mm-hmm. And I was like, all right, this is getting old, <laughs> Andy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, Andy, it. how many fucking funnel cakes you need, buddy? I feel like you're taking advantage, you know? Yeah, my nephews just started their new school today in Utah. Oh, yeah? Utah? Yeah. Are they Mormon? No, they're not Mormon. They're just, I mean, they do like, I don't know what they are. They just do like a lot of video games and stuff. But they, I, I, I have some ants in Utah, too. They're, they're in southern Utah, by like um, right by Mount Zion Park, like right when you get outside of the park. Mm. It's a small town. I think it's called. Um, Not St. George, is it? It's further than St. George. Oh, it's, damn. It's like. Uh, um, what, You'll think about it. Is that your brother? What town is there? Yeah. Oh, your brother lives out there. Yeah. They just moved out there. I realized, I thought my aunts and my cousin, I was close with them, and then I just thought they were Mormon, and I realized they're in a cult. So that's cool. Yeah, let me see where they live at. We can tell you this part uh, up. You, well, you've done uh, Wise Guys in Salt Lake, yeah? Um, you've done Wise Guys, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, great club. They're by the exit of the park where is St. George, so they're by... Uh, is it Springdale, Rockville? Hurricane, hurricane. Okay, they're even right, further right in above St. George. Yeah, so they're like, yeah, I don't remember the name of the place. It's very small. Why the fuck they move out there? They wanted to live out there. He's doing farming, and white um, people, and yeah, <laughs> whitening out. <laughs> I get it. I mean, I don't know what. Yeah, they just went out there, but they like it. So I'm going out there in a few weeks. Oh, you are? Yeah, I haven't been out there. You're going to fly in Salt Lake City? I would have been out there. (laughs) So, yeah, it's good. You're going to fly in Salt Lake and drive there? I don't know. It's like two and a half hours from Las Vegas. So this is getting boring, sorry. (laughs) (laughs) That's all good. It took you 15 minutes to realize where he's from. I know. What's going on? The king, the wing, the sting, and the sing. Uh, This is John coming at you from Inland Empire. Big John. And yes, it is another car video. Sorry, Eric. Um, I'm out doing Eric. It's a mission. So here's what it is. Uh, I'm 25, even though I look 35, but I'll I'll always be a child at heart. And I was wondering for a debate club if you guys like hot chocolate. And if you do, do you like it with water or with milk? Let me know. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz, sore. Whoop, whoop. See you guys. I think, do you guys drink hot chocolate, Chin? What are y'all drinking when it's cold out? What are the uh, the uh, Green tea. Uh, the Koreans <laughs> drink? Sorry. Green tea, right, Chin? My Brandon parents always let him us, get it. My parents always it. gave us hot chocolate, but with water, not with milk. And were you guys allowed to have it a lot or as much as you wanted? Every no? morning. Every morning you'd have it? it? Now, would they do the it's packets? Beautiful. Would they do the packets with the little crunchy fucking marshmallows? The powder. just the Yeah, the powder, powder yeah. but you can eat the powder with the marshmallows that are like I didn't get the marshmallows. Dude, is the there marshmallow. anything more beautiful than a couple little Asians drinking hot chocolate? <laughs> yeah, my parents <laughs> would drink coffee. We did it together, so oh. we felt like oh, we were drinking coffee with them. That's cute, yeah. man. God, I would love to be a peeping Tom in y'all's neighborhood. Me too. <laughs> I'd like an invite. I'd, I'd, you know what? I'd wake up at 5.30 to see that. <laughs> Look, here they come. Here they come. Look at you. Yeah, it was like a ni- nice bonding experience with the parents. Oh, that's beautiful. There's a lot of pictures of Asian kids drinking. That's our thing. <laughs> they love to have pictures of them eating and drinking. Yes. They're usually oh, throwing the... a peace sign up, but. They're oh, a lot of them. It seems it's getting a little illegal. It's like, <laughs> <That's weird. laughs> getting a little sexual. <laughs> We've seen that. enough. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Damn, about bro. row four, it got pretty sexual. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say sexual. It just felt illegal. Now I got a little <laughs> weird, man. Um, hot chocolate. I, when's the last time you had hot chocolate? I don't fuck with milk in any facet. You don't? No, I'm not a baby, bro. I do lactate milk, man. I Why? It's good. Huh? Why? It's good. No I, I just Yeah, I don't fuck like it. Fuck off. Try almond milk. Oat milk. <laughs> I don't like that. Okay. <laughs> I don't like. Okay. 
I don't. I mean, I, oat milk seems uh, uh, not even real. I it don't seems trust impossible. It. <laughs> Dude, but, go to Portland. They have ninety different milks at a coffee shop. Ninety. Uh, I'm not going there for that. <laughs> I would rather just have the lactate. Go there the next Proud Boys meeting you have. I'm not doing that, dude. <laughs> Quit I'm, zooming into that too. I'm not doing any racism, man. <laughs> People are always like, "Are you doing racism?" Like, no, I'm not. <laughs> <Doing it. laughs> and Theo and Brendan, Army Hammer's a cannibal, but he's also selling timeshares in the Caymans now. Would y'all ever quit comedy to sell timeshares in the Caymans <laughs> and be a cannibal? And if you were a cannibal, what body part would you go for? Deal's ass. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. I mean, your ass like jerky, baby. Ugh. I mean, your ass like Cheerios. I would pick a woman first, probably to devour. Oh, or... I thought he was asking if I'd eat you. <laughs> I'd go woman or Asian. <laughs> yeah, I'd start it with that app, baby. One of God's appetizers. <laughs> Um, you know. So Army Hammer, you know uh, Robert Downey Jr. paid all his bills this entire time. Really? And they don't know each other. Hmm. <laughs> wow. Dude, I remember I went to a party when I first got into Los Angeles, and Robert Downey Jr. was at the party. And everybody's like, that guy's a, he's a, you know, he just got in trouble for solicitation or something. And everybody's like, what, you know. Just was it with a trans? Talking, just everybody was like, that guy's screwed. You know, he's ruined. This is before Iron Man. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to one-up your Robert Downey Jr. story. I was at an Oscar party, and Robert Downey Jr. and Will Smith was there. And uh, Robert Downey Jr. started throwing sidekicks at me and had me judge his sidekicks while he's in a tuxedo. Oh, that's cool. It was a nightmare. It was so embarrassing. I was trying to hit on fucking Kate Beckinsale, dude, and he's throwing fucking sidekicks. What is sidekicks? It, it, you know what the shit Rogan does? Oh, Rogan's yeah. always doing it. So it's like, it's an older guy thing who took Taekwondo. They want to show off. They throw a sidekick. Damn, boy. Hmm. Yeah, I think, uh, I don't know what this guy said. <clears throat> but Ar- Ar- Army, <laughs> Army Hammer. Would you ever quit comedy and go sell timeshares? Not at, no, was, more, no more performing. Army Hammer is Army Hammer doing it where? Uh, the Cayman Islands. <laughs> you know, it's funny because during the pandemic, when the f- pandemic first happened, you know, uh, I didn't even feel like a comedian for a long time. I was because it just stopped. It was like you couldn't do it. Couldn't go anywhere. And I'm sure a, a, a lot of people felt like that in a lot of their jobs. Like, do I want to keep doing this job? What job do I want? What you know? Because it was like a time where you kind of like had like some reflection. You had a chance to look back and be like, you know, do I want to do? Do I miss it that much? Or what? Yeah. What What do I do now? You know, you're just kind of like. And where did you fall on that? Well, I just it was good to have some time off. And for a while, it was like... It wasn't enough for you, though. Yeah, it wasn't enough for me, I don't think, because I still was doing a lot of podcasting. Yeah. I was just burnt out. But now I feel like, yeah, I got up the past couple nights. I'm feeling good about it. So You should feel good, especially the other night at the comedy store. Crush, bro. Yeah. I mean, Mark was there. Chin, uh, Chin didn't I go. I know. I tried. I Mark went. How feel crushed, bro. Crushed. Uh, it, it was a very special night, and I haven't seen you perform... Since uh, I think 2018, so I didn't see any of your stuff yet, and yeah, it was like crowd was on fire, and my girl was laughing so hard it was like almost embarrassing, you know, where she's like, ah, 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 ah. yeah, I mean, yeah, it's definitely, yeah, it feels good, and the stage looked beautiful over there. The oh my night. god, they really they made did it something look with fancy. the back, right? Yeah, yeah, completely different. They changed the lighting. It's definitely a different. And shout out to there. Tripoli. It felt like the old days when it was like Rogan, Joey Diaz, Dalia, you, all the boys. That's what it felt like. Yeah, it was fun. I sat in there and watched the show for a while. I had a nice time. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, man. you did a good job, man. Thanks, brother. It was good. It was fun. But Army Hammer, <clears throat> he, uh, so he never really, but they keep calling him a cannibal. No, he just fantasized being a cannibal. Like he was like, <laughs> I'd love to eat your rib, girl. Like he, <laughs> he was like so into it. He was like, man, you know, I do your fucking pinky toe. <laughs> and she, the, apparently she was into it. But I think he got in trouble because he did carve an A in the girl's thigh, which mm-hmm. is frowned upon. Yeah. Branding. But he, but to me, like when I read his things, it's like, oh, he just fantasized about eating people. That's <laughs> that's what got him off. He never ate anybody. <laughs> but... I, and I also heard about him selling timeshares that it might he might be in rehab, and then like part of it is like getting getting into like a sense of normalcy. So get like a nine to five. He's working in a cubicle. God, what what rehab do you go to for cannibalism? How many other people are in there? <laughs> How many other sex. people are like? <laughs> My <laughs> name's Jeff. I struggle with eating people as well. Yeah. Like how many are on this planet? It's an eating disorder, man. I'm sure it's. <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot. You know? no, there's not a lot. But also, what guy was like, "Hey, man, uh, I want to raise some money because I'm gonna open up a facility for people with cannibalism." 
Yeah, I, I think it would be interesting. Seems like just, a bad business plan. Yeah, the weird part must be like when everybody breaks for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> it was just raw meat. Yeah. They're just staring at each other. Yeah, it was like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's all. Mm. Yeah, what do y'all want today, Bob's big boy? <laughs> <laughs> What are you guys gonna have? Yeah, I feel like Army Hammer, he was weird. And what's interesting about him is people don't know this. He comes from like, I don't mean like rich. He comes from like billions. Well, dad. there's a Hammer Museum right over by my oh, apartment. Oh, dude, he, his family's super rich. But once this came out, you know, they cut him off. That's why Robert Downey Jr. pays his bills. Mm. Shout out to Iron Man. There's going to be a documentary about it, too. I'll watch the fuck out of that. But also, I heard, too, once like women found out how much of a freak he is, his DMs got. Dirty. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. I, and that must make it even tougher than if you're trying to not, you know, if you're taking a break from dating or whatever <clears> and suddenly you're getting extra DMs. You can flood a DM from just some 10 who wants you to eat her fucking ass. You know what I'm saying? It'd be a nightmare, dude. I mean, it could be, yeah. Heavy lies the crown or it's a blessing. He's like, here we go. Yeah. It's got to probably, yeah. I mean, if you use a good calendar app, I bet it's not as overwhelming. <laughs> Time management, really. <laughs> But here's uh, what else is happening in the news. Did anything happen in the news today? Mm-hmm. Oh, what's her name? Died Olivia Newton Johns. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bro. Uh, uh, Jean LaBelle died, dude. Oh yeah, Judo Jean. Yeah, huh? dog. Olivia was fine. She had, she she had cancer, huh? Oh, she was really attractive when she was older too. Like, yeah, for an older lady. Mm-hmm. Hey Nick, I feel like you're into older chicks. Mm. Yeah, you talking to my the girlfriend. Therapist? Oh, you have a girlfriend now? <laughs> Same girl. Yeah, same girlfriend, man. We're up and down. <laughs> Currently up. There you go. You yeah, are, it's like his bookie. Yeah, you guys are like... <laughs> you guys are like no, that's always down. <laughs> you guys are like Bitcoin stock, man. Just up, Nick's down, picks up, cost down. me about 7K last yeah. year, I think. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, what else do we have here? The, All right. Know, you know what I think is funny is, uh, what is it, for a hot second, Tell the, me the it. Ukraine-Russian war was everywhere. And then it's it's worse now. But they just don't cover it because we stopped caring. They weren't getting ratings. So I love that CNN or Fox News is like, we'll, we'll keep you updated once it's over. But it's still, it's like worse than ever. They should let uh, <clears throat> Dana White sanction do, deal with it. They could. They'd have it over in a Saturday night. Here's the little lady. Hey, guys. I love Olivia the nose here, piercing. checking in from L.A., and I have a king of singing for you. Eyelashes on car headlights. Absolutely I not. I to this area in LA, mid city, and I've seen quite a few of them over here. I personally don't get it. I don't think I ever will. But then again, I've never owned a Volkswagen Beetle, so maybe I just can't understand. Anyway, let us know what you think. Eyelashes on car headlights. Can you sing it? Now, now for your chick, and it's a Volkswagen Beetle, right? It's like a little Beetle. It has that on. It's kind of cute. And you're a bad bitch. You can do your thing. But if you're a dude with a fucking <laughs> Mazda Miata, and you put some fucking things on there, you suck dick, right? But if a Transformer shows up, that bitch is getting eaten, <laughs> you know, because it looks like human, have human characters. No, bro, if a Transformer shows up, that thing's getting fucked. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Oh, the thirty two ninety nine for the car lashes? All wow. right, that's a good deal. Chin, you guys do that? <laughs> no. Yeah, you don't no. see Asians doing no. that. The wings, big wings, but not eyelashes. Hmm. Big wings, loud exhaust. Yep. No catalytic converter. Yep, neon lights. I saw a girl had eyelashes Ninja on stars. her fingernails one time, like at the cuticle kind of. Really? That was crazy, yeah. <laughs> a lot of interesting stuff out there coming out of the Far East. I had these fake spinners in high school on my Yeah, oh my gosh. we all did. That makes yeah. sense. No, no, <laughs> we did. no, we didn't. Dude, I remember one time uh, I was so high and going to school and this uh in high school yeah i hit my i hit this girl with my car <laughs> and uh i hit this well one time i hit this girl's car and i got it and i didn't know what to do dude i was just cooked bro and i was like no way on weed? huh on weed yeah hi and i got out and i was just like why'd you hit me it was so <laughs> obvious that i hit this girl <laughs> you tried to play me on there what were you doing she's like i'm parked dumbass <laughs> Bro, it was so crazy, dude. And then another time, I hit the hottest girl in my school with my car in the Tight parking move. lot. So a relationship? Oh, uh, nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah, nah. Thankfully, I was living with this family that had an attorney in the family, but <laughs> it was fucking, you know. She remembers me, though. She remembers me. You know, it's that pickup line, bro. That's the eternal pickup line. Hitting somebody with your car. <laughs> Hot chick. Hot chick. 
You hit the car, and then what was the pickup line? Every time it rains, she feels in her leg a little daddy. Yeah. You know? She remembers you, dog. She remembers daddy in that, that 84 King. Ford Escort. Yeah, what's up, girl? <laughs> yeah, damn, that car bites. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, those are the good old days, man. There's you just made me think of this. In high school, we threw a keg, and someone broke the tap. So I had to leave, and I got my car, which was parked in the back, to go get another one. I had, like, felt a bump. And there was this kid, he would pat he had been passed out there and I ran over his arm, but he was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And he just ran off. <laughs> were you like, he was like, No, I'm sorry. Were you like, Yeah, don't do it again. This is totally your fault. Yeah, get the hell out of here. Get out of here, <laughs> stupid kid. Dude, that happened one time we left a three eleven concert and we were just cruising, man. Just Ooh, I bet that was a good night. Gored it out of our freaking brains. And I drew some drilled some dude at a stoplight at probably Probably 30 miles an hour, man. <laughs> and it was fucking bad. My hood all went all rammed up and everything. And I got out and ran up to him. And he's like, dude, I'm so sorry. Is everybody, <laughs> he's like, is everybody okay? <laughs> he was just fucking laced out of his brain. Just he didn't know where he was. The stoplight had no idea. What was 3, 311's biggest song? Uh, they had a ton. Yeah. Down, it's called Down. Singing over, man, nah, nah. Now, now remember 311, they thought it was because the 11th uh, number in the alphabet is K, so they thought it was KKK, 311. Oh, that's crazy. Dude. Crazy, dude. You ever seen Kick song, The one who knows about thanks. I don't know that song. Oh, they were good, man. <laughs> they were good, dude. Is this episode any good or not, you think? I think it's <laughs> been really great. Fun. Time. Yeah. Been great. This is old school, Daddy. Yeah. You're the best, man. You too, man, gang, baby. Good to see you and good to be in here. Good to be alive. Good to see the guys alive. Nick fucking shedding weight for no reason. <laughs> for cats after dark. But the commitment, I love it, baby. You do fucking look thinner, Nick. Nick. I swear to God, like he's definitely monkey pops. It's like that picture in uh, uh, Back, Back to, to the, the Future. future. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> They're getting leaner and leaner, man. I'm, it's going to be scary if I get 155. Go, go. Does, go does your girl like it? Go. No, she hates it. She hates it. She wants you to be thicker? Uh, yeah, yeah. You know what's going on there, right? The you know what's day. going on there, right? She don't want you to get all shredded. Start getting mm. them DMs gonna keep flood. losing weight, man. Yeah. The liver hides some. I I, I think I think she's right. Like this is where I should be. Like when I, if I'm like feeling healthy, anything lower than this, I'm starting to get skinny. So we'll get back up when once we finish. I want to find someone to have a weight gain competition. If, no, I'm, don't get all. If I'm one fifty five though, then I can. You want to be two fifty five? I don't know. That'd be funny. I get fifty pounds in a month, easy. I love I love the just the commitment to nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for no reason at all. And Chan, are you? Uh, how is your weight loss going? I'm actually gaining weight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it sucks. Dude. I didn't take it seriously, but then uh, Nick actually really took it seriously. So I'm like, oh crap, I gotta start losing now, weight. Now Chan used to be 300 pounds. Yeah, so I know how to lose weight. That's a good point. But you also know how to gain weight. Yeah. Which sounds like what Man, you're doing right now. And I, is it uh, is it okay to be uh, obese or overweight in your culture? Hell no, no, no. People, no. no kids, wow. kids, the, the oh, shame yeah. the family. Let's put a fucking sword in their stomach. I mean, back in the day, it was good because that means you're rich, you can have food and all that stuff. You yeah, buy like stuff, your Buddha, but not anymore. Yeah. That's crazy, man. Yeah, my dad when he was a kid, he lived in a village, and he said some of the kids had to eat dirt because they didn't have anything <laughs> to eat. Just straight up dirt. Damn. And they would get all bloated from it. Your dad grew up <laughs> rough, huh? I don't know. What's the heaviest you've been? Mm, probably almost one, I would say almost 188. You little bitch. You never broke the two hondos? You gotta be two something to do something, son. Damn. You never broke the two hondos? No, I've thought about it. 277, my ultimate high. Wow. Playing fucking football in Utah. I wanted to slip my wrist. In Utah? Yeah, I played for arena football out there. <laughs> you did? Utah Blaze. Ooh, who'd y'all play? Idaho, that Boise? Uh, no, we'd play like Colorado Crush, San Jose Bombers, some bullshit. <laughs> Making 27 grand. I want to slip my wrist. Damn, dude. Was it a tough, was it a tough go or what was it like? It was a nightmare. I knew, I knew I wanted to quit when I talked to uh, the guy who's like the star of the team. And he's like, man, hopefully this practice ends soon, man. I have some deliveries to make. What the fuck? Mm. He's the captain of the team, star of the team. You doing drugs? No, no, man. He fucking he had to get another job. Oh, he was a UPS man on the side. Oh wow, he's the That's star of the job. league. And who was y'all's quarterback? I forget some white dude. God, <laughs> 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 it was a nightmare though. Oh, the, the channel says hot sauce snub the real. Yeah, I was just trying to bring up the news. We got uh, Michael Chandler versus Dustin Poirier to. Uh, it's not confirmed. It's not confirmed. No. Uh, but he, but Chandler says that the the hot sauce snub. What that when I took that hot sauce to his house that time. 
I don't know. No, I get uh, the, uh, the, he asked for something and Poirier never sent it to him or something. I just talked to Chandler about it. He was like, no, dude, it's all rumors. He's like, I'm not see shit. a lot of controversy coming out of Dustin. What did it say? I think we were very similar. He and I have had similar past with small town kids getting after it. Uh, him saying, hey, instead of finding Chandler, I'd rather sell hot oh. sauce. Oh, I see. Uh, it's good sauce, though. Hell yeah. And he has good whiskey, too. Look Chris, have you tried whiskey, Pete? You tried his whiskey? Why'd they pick this <laughs> bourbon? I thought that was Poirier Justin, for a second. Yeah. <laughs> but why do they have Chandler like he just got out of prison or something? It's good. It's good yeah. bourbon. It's good. Yeah. yeah. You know, I snuck some of the Diamonds hot sauce into Michael Chandler's Super Bowl party. Yes, I did. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna throw in the trash. <laughs> it's good sauce. If the, if that does get confirmed, you should have him in studio at the same time. That would be fireworks. Chandler and Poirier. Yeah, it'd be hard to get them both in. I would try. No, though. they would do it. We could do it together. You think? You work on Dust. I work on Chandler. I talk Chandler every week. But we're gonna have to tell him the other one's gonna be there. No, we don't tell him shit. And They're gonna know be... we're saying it right now. <laughs> it'd probably be easier in Nashville just because Michael's already there. Facts. Easy flight for Dustin, yeah. too. I wonder if it would be a, like, what if you did like that guessing game where you had one of them answer questions and you see if the other one had the same answers? <laughs> <laughs> like newlywed game between those Just two? to make them seem like as alike as possible. Yeah, yeah you do like a blind dating thing. Yeah, like you a, do it like Love is Blind, where they're behind a wall and they just talk to each other yeah. and then they become friends. <laughs> Love is Blind is crazy, man. That show's fantastic. But a lot of those shows start in Asia. That's true, Chen. A lot of shows do start in Asia. Yeah, Love is Blind did, though. I don't feel I like mean, that. I mean, the certain concepts. Brendan, a lot of culture kind of started in Asia, man. You don't think. <laughs> Brendan has no concept bro, of it. Bro, you've been hanging out with Koreans for fucking 30 minutes. All of a sudden, you know culture? No. Like Asian culture? <laughs> Chen been one of my best friends. Chen, how, how long have you been working for? Seven years? Uh, six years. Yeah, five. shut up, bro. That's an, that is a inkling in the time period his people have been alive. They've been alive for hundreds of thousands of years. Yeah. So idiot. has Chin, though, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what that. you're talking about, bro. <laughs> yeah. You, you, you took one Uber in a fucking Mitsubishi Eclipse. All of a sudden, you know Korean <laughs> culture. <laughs> I bet I know what I'm talking about. You're an idiot. 700,000 years. Wow. Yeah, bro. Educate yourself. I just said it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you said a thousand years. I said hundreds of thousands. No, nope, you said years. thousands of years. Do you guys have artifacts from a long time ago in your family? You got in fossils, Chin. You like like your great 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 grandma's fossil too? No, but we have coins because I guess we're a lineage to um, a king. So the kings on the coin, the Yi Dynasty. Okay, subtle flex. I'm to just the saying, Yi Dynasty. Yi, yeah. So yeah, we have, I guess, artifacts. Because didn't they come up with currency? They were the first ones with like coins. I think Chinese came up. The with Chinese first, did. Yeah. Chinese come up with a lot of yeah. stuff. I mean, yeah. the, a lot of shitty uh, shelving units too. <laughs> 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 Nothing worse than IKEA though, and that's Swedish, man. This is gonna be the last one. This guy's a mustache. Guy right what here. is up, King and the Sting? Uh, it's uh, Brady here from Southern Alberta, Canada. Just got a debate club for you guys today. Just wondering, do you sleep on the side of the bed closest to the door to protect your girl from intruders or whatever happens? Or do you just sleep on the side that you find the comfiest? Just say, fuck it. You know, let me know. Gang, 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 buzz, buzz, sore. This guy looks like he's in witness do, do, protection. Do, 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 do. I think I always sleep, honestly, I sleep butt towards the door. It's my big thing. I don't want somebody coming in and getting my penis or anything or if You'd they shoot have, me. You ever have them hit that ass first? Well, if somebody comes in and stabs you and stuff, I'd rather get stabbed in the ass or shot in the ass and or back. Then I feel like one of my vital organs, so I'll sleep with, you know, penis d towards the wall. <sighs> I'm trying to think. I mean, the way our house is set up, I guess I sleep away from the door. My girl's near the door, you know? She's Mexican, so... It's kind of like that. You're supposed to like walk on the side, side of the street. Busy side of the street. Yeah. Op open the door like it's 1950. Mm -hmm. Damn. Oh, I'm supposed to do the laundry. What are we doing? But Where, this... Where's Tate? <laughs> Who, Andrew Tate? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. <laughs> He's bringing fucking 
sh- old school shit back. It, he, he's out of his mind, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's good, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, he, he's fantastic. I, I, I had like two days where I was consuming a lot of it. Now I'm over it, but uh, he's, yeah. he's fun. He's fun. Some of the clip, I don't, I've never watched a full show. I just see his clips. Do you guys know who Tom Likas was? No. Yeah, yeah Tom yeah. Likas in the mornings. Yeah, he, yeah he, he was just this old radio guy, but like misogyny was his brand. He's like, you tell that bitch she's got to get in the kitchen and like, uh, keep going. That's what I think. <laughs> that's what I think. Andrew, that's what I think of like Andrew Tate, except obviously he takes stuff like. Escape the Matrix. I, and t- Tom Segura put him on, right? Like Tom Segura blew him up. Is that he, fair to say? Or was he, he big before Tom? He helped. He kind of like changed his business model, like his Tate University or whatever. Mm-hmm. Anybody who signs up has to post with links back to that, and they have to post his clips. So he's mm-hmm. got like 50,000 people putting up TikToks with this shit. That's so it was brilliant. Like in, inescapable. And is he a good man? I feel like he – I feel I, I don't know. You know what? I have no fucking clue. How about that? But how about also – He's I'm, a phenom? Well, Lo- <laughs> Logan Paul wants to fight him. Here's the problem. He's a legit three-time world champion kickboxer, oh, like really? seventy-three and zero. Yeah, that'd be a problem for the Paul Bros. Now, in general, if kickboxers that do just traditional boxing are gonna get beat up, so the, Jake Paul has a chance. What happened to Ramon? He just came in, came in kind of fat. Fat. Yeah. He didn't want to lose it, huh? Uh-uh. How do you not lose that weight to get the bag, man? Well, Some that, people are saying it was the ticket sales. That's what. Uh, that's what Dana, other people Dana, are saying. Too. Dana, Dana said it. Of course, Dana said it. They're yeah. shit on. They're they're dead wrong. I'm really? telling you, they're dead wrong. Really? Yeah, yeah. What about my boy, freaking Mike Perry, coming up? He's got that bout, huh? When yeah. is that, August bro? 20th. That is August twentieth, and we're doing a fight campaign for it, Daddy. Wow. Bare knuckle fighting. He's fighting fucking Michael Venom Page, bro. Yeah, Venom Page, baby. He got the snake on. He got that snake in his arm. Dude, snake in his arm, snake in his pants. Damn, I haven't seen that. <laughs> but he's got that sneaky. He's got that just sneaky. That that boy is a savage. That little critter, tough fight bro. for your boy Mike Perry. Yeah, Mike is fearless though, man. And I don't know if you can knock Mike out. You can. I don't know. Pa- Mike Venom Page can. And you know who's the co-main of it is uh, fucking Page Van Zant. Never bad when she gets sweaty. You feel me? Yeah. I used to like all of her pictures on Instagram. And then she got married. <laughs> 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 to a pro fighter. Too. She still has uh, OnlyFans, whatever her own. She Van has. Her, Zant, she yeah. doesn't have her OnlyFans. She has her own thing. Yeah. Oh wow, good for yeah. her. Yeah, she's gangster with it. You know, she's a hard. She's a hard. She's very resilient. Oh yeah. You yeah. know, I want to see that Pena Nunez third bout. I was at the first one when Pena won. What do you want to see? The second. The second fight was ten eight across the board. If what, it would have gone was... eight rounds, I think Pena could have won. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see it again. You don't? No. I thought it was a I want great Shep, fight. I want the, this last one. I thought it was great. Oh my god! She just because you just didn't you need ex- to educate yourself, dog. You didn't expect that she could win. Who? Pena? Yeah. So yeah, she just, and she had no fucking. She was. She went a single second of that fight. She didn't give up though. See, that's a problem. That's how you know you get your ass when people are, God, is she tough, though? <laughs> you don't, as a fighter, if the best compliment is, man, is she tough, though, or man, is he tough, that means you got your ass beat. Damn. It's still brave to even get your ass beat, though. <laughs> that's you that's what you sign up for, though, you know? What about uh, Bryce Mitchell? Is he fighting anybody coming up? He'll, he'll get a big boy. He's, he's going to get a big fight next. And who else is in his division? Oh, he, uh, he, he's in Murder's Row, man. Is he? What I don't want for him is to give him uh, Arnold Allen, that London savage who's undefeated. I don't want to see him kill two young lines off. I think you'd be. I think um, if they do, if they do their cards right for Bryce, if they want to be champ. Oh, he's a Volkanovski. So I, I think he would beat uh, uh, Yair Rodriguez right now. Oh, they got him at dang nine. What about Giga Chickaidze? He would, I think he would just manhandle Molly him. He, he, he would throw him around the octagon, I think. I, I want to get- throw Giga? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he'd beat the shit out of him. It, it, so you'll see how much they like Bray, Bryce based off his next match. You'll see if they want him to become their champ. You know, he's kind of, you know, he's very open with his beliefs on, you know, shootings and shit and politics. 135 but, to 155 is insane. Nutsos. He called Hunter Biden a drug thought. <laughs> and I thought that was pretty fire, bro. How about Hunter Biden because his dick pics got released? And he was like, "I got body dysmorphia, man. I just want to make sure I had a big dick, nine inches, bro." No, yeah, what? that's the problem with these fucking elitists, man. All of them, <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, they got that insider trading. On My that. thing is, I'm Where fine you? if you want to raid Trump's house. You're not gonna raid fucking Hunter Biden's house. Here's Hunter All the Biden shit right he's there doing. In that picture is that him? <laughs> so bad. 
That does look look like stuff he's put out there. Dude, he, he's politicians. Wild, man. Nancy Pelosi, them big-ass tits. What's his name had his flank out last night? Who? Tommy Lee Johnson. Oh, that boy. Oh, yeah. But uh, you know what? I, I appreciate the reminder. That's that Pelosi's thing, yammers? Yeah, dude, Pelosi got some fucking White House hitters. She got the gubernatorial candidates, boy. <laughs> Hell <Damn>. yeah. <laughs> My God, boy. Them, them tits will give you some stock advice. Whew. Yeah, she she hides. She got that outsider trading, dude. Damn, oh, boy, she got some tits. Dude, she insider tits. trading them tits. She hides. This whole puppies. family all ends up looking the same for sure. The Kardashians, right? Mm. At one point, they all will just look the same. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, so they took his picture down with the big dick. Evidently. But you can, oh, dude. It's the internet. Someone yeah. screenshot. Bring that shit up, Nick. I screenshot it. Do you even? <laughs> do you even internet, Nick? You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? They're gonna you can't post your big old dick on Instagram. It was up for a long time. Yeah, <laughs> was it? No, I didn't see that. <laughs> I'm not that crazy. <laughs> I didn't have Instagram. I found out he posts his dick. It's that thing's thick, huh? Oh, I didn't Jesus. look at it that much. Do you guys want to see it? Please do. We'll blur it out. That's Whoa, all right. I'm not looking again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but he's older though. It's it's good, you know. It's good. <laughs> not yeah. crazy though. You know what I'm saying, dog? I didn't look. <laughs> It's just on your phone for later. But you, the tough part is once you see it, you can remember what it looks like. <laughs> That's the part that feels gay to me in your brain. You know, it's gay to me. I'd say every Thursday once a week, I think about his dick honking the butt, the horn on the boat. Is that gay? Does that make me gay? I don't know. I didn't see that. Maybe. Oh, you never seen the porno? Mm -mm. Oh, my God. What are you guys doing with your lives? Dude, I was it's like him. Seven. And yeah, and I don't <laughs> look at the dick in the porno either. Well, you can't miss it, dude. It's giant. If you don't look at it, you can miss it easy. <laughs> dude, he honks the <laughs> bear with his dick. Classic. That's, that's pretty cool, I guess. Yeah, that's cool. Is that it, Doug? That's it. Well, I'm going to pull my dick out because I'm on stage <laughs> in Appleton, Wisconsin. Well, one night only in Chicago, Den Theater, August 26th. One night only. On the 27th, we have the Thick Mudder in Chicago. Go to toughmudder.com. Sign up on the 27th to run that Tough Mudder with me and the Thick Boy crew. Mark will be there and some other boys will be there. It's the 11 a.m. heat. Use promo code Team Brendan, 10% off. But the comedy show at the Den Theater on the 26th. And then uh, I am in Appleton, Wisconsin in September, early September. And then I'm in Ontario, California, Ontario Improv. And then I end September in Boston, Laugh Boston. That bitch almost sold out. Five shows, Laugh Boston. Well, that shows they sell out soon. Get your tickets at thickboy.com. So Chicago, Appleton, Wisconsin, Ontario, California, and Boston. Yup, baby. Yes, and I will be um... – and October 12th, I'll be in Wichita, uh, October 13th, Omaha, and then October 14th, Denver, Colorado. Uh, we just added a new show there. And uh, you can get tickets at theovon.com slash T-O-U-R. Just go through there to see you get applicable links that go to fair price tickets. So just, you know, people will message you like, damn, these tickets are $600, man, because that's somebody's jacking you, dude. Yep. Don't get jacked. Yeah, hustle, man. Yeah, be a regular person. Don't yeah. get jacked out. So. Yeah, don't, don't get jacked out, bro. It's good advice. Yeah, and what else, man? We That's a, about it. We got man. a fight campaign for bare knuckle fighting uh, August 20th. We got a crazy lineup. I'll God. share that with you. I'm so excited about this. That That's fight. at 11 a.m. too on a Saturday, 11 a.m. Calabas fight campaign. And then the original fight campaign's coming back. We'll be on Rogan September 3rd. Rogan, Eddie, Talon, me. Y'all are doing it here? No, we're, going, we're all going to Austin. Wow. That's going to be fun. Eddie's going to be in it? Mm -hmm. He just sent me a video today. I didn't look he's at it best. yet. He's the best. Oh. Love him. Yeah, miss Eddie. I know, man. I miss <laughs> oh, he's the too. best. The best. Is he just, he's just not doing anything? Like media-wise? No, he, he's making music, and then he got up the other night on stage with Tripoli somewhere. He's just doing his thing. Still has his academies. <laughs> Tenth Planet crushing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's no other Eddie Bravo. There's only one. One a kind, dog. Gang, gang. Sorry, you, brother. Buzz, buzz. Thanks. Love man. you guys. Same buzz, buzz. buzz. It's the king and the sting. Back up in the sting. I just got a call that said they want to end the wing. They got me working OT all night long. How many times I got to make this song? Hey, hold on. What is this? Now y'all want to switch? Y'all just added CB and Eric and they all adding Chris. Gonna fit. Wait, I get the gist. I just probably have to slow it down and hit it like this. It's the king, the wing, and the stink. Nah, oh. It's the wing and the king and the stink. Nah, hold on, hold on. Hold on, wait a minute, let me think. It's the king and the sting and the wing. Uh.
Let's go. King and the sting and the wing. Got it full circle and put on the whole team. Legendary trio, Brendan, Chris, and Theo. What you mean? You know it's the king and the sting and the wing.